so I just got a message by God. He said, <laughs> he's laughing. I love my Jesus. I love my Jesus and I love my Guru Nanak Ji, you know. Jesus is saying, girl, history repeats itself. Yes, divine masculine's family don't like you. Mm -mm. As a matter of fact, they hate you. But <laughs> they don't even know you, right? They know from your videos, yeah, you don't have a mommy and a papa. You don't have a family. You an orphan. You were stolen and all the stuff about you. They don't think you're worthy, right? Of their son's love, right? Or their brother's love or whatever, you know? But here's the thing. They think they can think whatever they want, right? They can think whatever they want. It doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. What matters is what I think. I am God. I, I wrote your love story. And they can sabotage all they want. Your family could. His family could at a far distance. They can do it. They can try and try and try and try. They can continue. And, but what is destined is destined. Because I wrote your love story with your Ranja. Ranja's yours and you're his. Because I wrote your love story, man. I gotta tell you, every lifetime, these people, these bitter people, bitter hearts, don't want you guys to be together because they wish they had that kind of love, but they don't. Many of them were arranged marriages, right? A few were love marriages, whatever. That was their choice. But you guys love each other from lifetimes you haven't even met this lifetime but the love the chemistry the connection the soul contract is there and you just intimidate his family that's what it is but that's on them you don't even need to intimidate anybody it's just your energy you know so you know what Focus on yourself right now. Just focus on yourself right now. And um, I feel that Divine Masculine, he just feels like, you know, he doesn't know what to do. He's stuck, you know. But he will, he'll know. His heart will tell him. And the only reason his family hates you, they don't even know you, it's, it's because they feel like you're going to take him away from them but you're not that type of a person you know you got no ill in your heart you got no hate in your heart and you're kind of saddened because you really thought his family was going to be your family but I don't know what to say but uh, I can't tell you everything because I wrote your story you know, continue to love, focus to yourself, and pray. That's what I want you to do. I want you to pray. Because your family don't like him, and his family don't like you. This has been going on so many lifetimes. Oh my God, it's a joke. But this lifetime, it's going to be different. His family could do all the spells behind the scenes that he doesn't even know that's going on. He can do, they can do all the spells or whatever they do. And your family could do all the spells too. For not this connection to come together. But I am God. I will make this connection together because 
I wrote your love story. You were here for my purpose. You signed a contract with me before you were born. You got to do my purpose. And that's why the enemy has been coming at you strong. You had haters. Now you have more haters. That's it. So don't worry. Wipe those tears, girl. And pray. Pray for those hurt hearts that hate you. For no reason at all. Why do they hate you? Because they don't want you to take away their son, right? Or their brother away. And why would you do that? Right? That's in their mind. They don't even want to get to know you. But it's okay. Because guess what? Divine timing. Mm hmm So sit back, relax, and pray, my child. Because one day, you'll look back and laugh. You got a lot of blessings coming to you. And it's sad that they don't like you because they think you're lower than him. Your status, what you live in a little apartment. Oh, you don't even have a car, right? Well, how many cars have you had in the past that you paid cash for on your own, right? And you might not even have a good career because your, your sister ruined your career, right? So there, you know, all these things are going through their mind. Like, why would our son, you know, or our brother will marry this woman? Why would he? Because many of them don't believe in love, you know? They, they want to keep their son next to him because their son runs the whole household, you know? And they feel like, if you come in his life, you, he's going to give you all, all their attention to you. So he won't know how to balance it, but he will know how to balance it. But they're just greedy. They just want him to themselves. That's it. They don't care about his happiness. Now, I'm not saying all of them, but majority of them. But don't worry, time will tell. You just do you. Do you and pray. But don't stop loving. Don't start stop loving your soulmate because he's your soulmate and you love him. Because you're him and he's you. You're two bodies in one soul. You know that. And if he doesn't know that, he's gonna know that soon. That's it. So pray, pray, my child. You have a big purpose with him. You do. A big purpose to help many. Love you.